renewable energies. Their significance is growing fast due to a scarcity of raw material reserves and the rising cost of energy. It's for these reasons that biogas plants that produce electricity and heat have proven themselves so well in agriculture. The system package for biogas technology available from Brook Pipe Systems has significant advantages for efficient and safe biogas production and distribution. In a biogas system of this nature, microorganisms transform organic waste material into biogas. The methane-rich gas is then used to produce electricity and heat in a combined heat and power plant. Agricultural animal and vegetable residue, for instance slurry or manure, provides the raw material for gas production. The addition of energy-rich plants such as maize and corn and their residues significantly increase biogas production. These organic raw materials, called substrate, are stored in collecting basins and mixed evenly before they're fed into the heated fermenter. This is the heart of every biogas system. When light and oxygen are withheld, various bacteria in the substrate become active at certain temperatures and begin to convert organic components into biogas through the process of fermentation. Agitators in the fermenter mix the substrate, while a heating system raises it to the necessary processing temperature. The biogas process takes place at temperatures of between 35 and 55 degrees Celsius, depending on the type of biogas system. Different types of fermenter heating systems are used to heat the substrate to the necessary temperature. Installing heating pipelines on the interior walls of the fermenter is a common method. The advantage is the direct contact between substrate and heating pipe. Brook offers an ideal and especially safe heat transfer system incorporating a stainless steel corrugated pipe. Its design is in contrast to the smooth-walled polymer-based pipes used in other heating systems. The use of this kind of plastic piping with its well-known diffusion problems leads to a less efficient heat transfer. The Brook fermenter heating system incorporates a DN50 corrugated pipe installed on the fermenter wall and fixed at intervals of 20 centimeters. Endless production technology makes it possible to install the pipe as one continuous piece. In other words, without any welded joints on the inside. The pipe's flexibility allows for optimum installation and adaptation to the wall contours of the fermenter. High quality material, stainless steel 316L, and a thin pipe wall thickness of just 0.5 millimeter guarantee outstanding heat transfer. The helical shape of the pipe's corrugation is a further advantage over conventional smooth-walled pipes. It swirls the hot water around as it flows through the pipe to create a turbulent flow. This method exchanges the warm water at the center of the pipe with the somewhat colder water at the periphery to transfer an optimum temperature to the substrate. Thus, the substrate is slowly heated to the required process temperature. There are two different designs for connecting a fermenter heating system to a hot water system. One, the corrugated pipe can be connected to a rigid stainless steel pipe using special weldless grappa connecting technology. The stainless steel pipe is then fed through the fermenter wall via a connection piece in the wall. Two, in a second variant, the corrugated pipe is fed through the wall via a so-called pipe sleeve, thus eliminating the need for the connection of the pipe inside the fermenter. The grappa connection technology is again used for the connection of the hot water system. The fermenter heating system package 
includes special brackets for both variants to provide ideal pipe positioning and to ensure that the pipes are securely fitted inside the fermenter. The biogas produced inside the fermenter is stored in the fermenter's gas tank and then processed and relayed to a combined heat and power plant. There it's converted into heat and power in a combustion engine. The electricity produced in this manner can be consumed locally or fed back into the public grid for what is known as a buyback price. The exhaust heat from the combustion process can be recovered and utilized via a heat exchanger. The fermenter needs a part of the heat, while the remainder can be used to heat adjacent buildings or is fed into a local district heating network. Various options are available for transferring the heat to a local district heating network and its subsequent distribution. Brook Pipe Systems offers efficient solutions with a variety of different pipelines. The Calpex pipe, a flexible pre-insulated pipe with a PEX inner pipe, pure foam heat insulation, and a protective PE sleeve. It's an ideal solution for fast and flexible pipe laying in the ground. The Casaflex pipe. The Casaflex pipe with its internal corrugated stainless steel pipe is used in conjunction with higher operating temperatures or pressure. The Premont pipe, a rigid pipe with pure insulation and a protective PE sleeve. Its larger dimensions make it an ideal main or distributor pipeline in a local district heating network. The Calpex and Casaflex pipes enable the connection of various households and consumers. Fermenter heating from Brook Pipe Systems is an efficient solution for stable and safe biogas production. Furthermore, the pre-insulated and flexible pipe systems from Brook guarantee optimal distribution of heat throughout the local district heating network.